Well, uh, good morning. Uh, a very warm welcome uh, all the way from Holland. Um, I'm going to tell a bit about how we are using Prezi uh, at Blau, uh, especially for quantitative results or to present quantitative result uh, to present the results of a quantitative study. Um, I would like to start off with the following statement that I believe that uh, good presentations is not given by Prezi, but it's given by a good presenter. I believe a presentation should be told and not shown. Uh, a presenter is basically um, a storyteller without a campfire. He or she is responsible to engage the audience and let them leave with one thought, idea or conclusion on the top of their minds based on what you just have told them. Uh, Prezi does help uh, getting your message across, but it's not the holy grail for presentations. The way Prezi is designed, it helps you to avoid some of the biggest traps that lead to a dull presentation. Especially when presenting the results of a quantitative study. Quantitative results are normally hard to digest for your audience or listeners because they are about basically cold fact and figures. On top of that, uh, PowerPoint doesn't help. As you all know, PowerPoint is very, very linear, uh, static, and it isn't very inviting to make your presentation sparkle. If you want to have an idea of how not to make a PowerPoint presentation, you should uh, log on to YouTube and look for Don McMillan, uh, Life After Death by PowerPoint, uh, who made a PowerPoint into a stand-up comedy subject, which is pretty embarrassing for a lot of us. Uh, I saw a lot of things I did wrong in the past. Um, I will not go through all the mistakes that you can make when presenting a quantitative study, but just show the ones that are the most important when presenting the results of a quantitative study. As you know, quantitative results are normally captured in graphs. In a lot of graphs, in line graphs uh, like that, or some bar graphs, spider charts, and stuff like that. And I now have to wait until, yes, the next screen comes up. But basically what you are doing is when you are presenting the results of a quantitative study with the use of the charts from your report, you are basically overkilling your audience with graphs. Most of them, as if you just have seen, have a lot of information in themselves, which is too hard to grasp for a listener and listen to what you have to tell them I'm here. at the same time. I'm there. I'm in now. I'm there. I think, I think Theresa just uh, logged in. And but she's muted now. Um, another mistake, what I see uh, frequently when I attend a uh, presentation is that market researchers tend to put in their entire conclusion uh, from the report entirely into their presentation. Uh, in this way you're just overloading your audience and, and flooding them with words and text and in the end um, when you show them a slide like this they will just miss your point altogether. And the last often made mistake when presenting results, which I also noticed in most of the presentations I attend, is that we tend to end our presentations with the conclusion of the quantitative study. That is what uh, is, is taught in school. Uh, we should uh, 
start on white and then narrow it down to a conclusion. What that does is um, by the time you get to your conclusion, you probably have lost the attention of most of your audience. They are uh, listening and looking at slides for about half an hour, uh, which is the average type for a presentation, and have absorbed a lot of information by then. When you end your conclusion, when, when you end your presentation with the conclusion, they will probably forget what it was, and everybody in the room will remember something else of what you just have told. Although, um, Prezi does help avoid to help you to avoid to make these mistakes because of the way it is designed. You can basically take your audience by the hand and go through your storyline and your story. You can zoom in when you want or show the big idea to show how the dots are connected. And last, Prezi is ideal for implementing images and movies which are more attractive to look at than uh, a percentage or uh, a graph. Although Prezi help, helps uh, avoiding these pitfalls, uh, it does not ensure a great presentation. Therefore, at Blau, we also make use of a concept which is called the pyramid principle. And the pyramid principle basically says that your thinking will be easy to grasp if you present the ideas organized as a pyramid under one single point. You start off with uh, telling what your core message is, what you want your audience to remember when they leave your presentation. If you're not familiar with the book or the concept, um, it is really worthwhile to uh, take a look at it. I learned from Arthur that there is another concept which is basically the same um, and it's what's called the upside down funnel um, and it also shows you that you should start with the thing you want to stick with your audience and with Prezi you can show how you organize your thoughts how you want to get your results across um, as we as I show here you start with your core message and you can then zoom in in how your core message is built up through arguments. Another thing that we try to do at Blau uh, in, in when we are doing a quantitative study is to make an infographic of the study when uh, the client is up to it. Um, and when you build your infographic, as you see it here, around the pyramid or the, with the pyramid principle, uh, your infographic is basically your presentation. You got it all there. Because with Prezi, you can upload your infographic and you can then make a path through it and just zoom in on all the stuff you want to show and basically make a better impression and make your message stick with the audience. Well, that was basically what I wanted to tell you about how we use Prezi uh, at Blau for presenting the results of a quantitative study. Um, hopefully it will be helpful for or inspiring for uh, some of your future presentations. And I would like to thank you very much for your attention.